when I saw everybody else, I was like, oh, I could have done this a lot easier. Damn it. That's not who I am. I've been obsessed with robots since I was a kid, and I do a lot of biomechanical that involves a lot of robotic structures and stuff. This is a total shoe in for me. Almost there with the lines. Like some dots and stuff left. All right, artists, you have six hours to tattoo a neo-traditional hot rod or chopper, and your time starts now. All right, let's do this. Put the stencil on, yeah. When you're doing hot rods and choppers, you want to make them dynamic. The only way to make something dynamic is to bump up the contrast with a lot of black and a lot of bright, solid, bold color. Without that, we're going to really have a flat tattoo, and it'll be easy to pick apart. Whatever you do, lay perfectly still. How was it initially? Not bad? Oh, fine. Tattoo away. I found something that is a close match to her bike, so I was able to do a neo-traditional rendering of it. You kicked her asses, girl. I am. I want to go back home and say, you know what? This chick rocked it. My canvas loves it. It's boosting up my ego a little bit. I think I'm going to do awesome. I'm going to get all this gray done. I'm going to kill this tattoo. How you yeah. doing, man? So that's just the V engine of your bike? Time-wise, you know, I figured let's just make the motor nice and beefy. Yeah, mere start that engine, you know what I mean? As a veteran artist, my strategy is to do good, solid, clean tattoos. I've been preparing for this since season five. Three hours to go. It's kind of a classic image, so I didn't want to do, like, 90s colors. I'm anxious. I have technical skills. I have the artistic ability. I got the talent. This pressure is, like, oh, man, it's way different than what I thought. Is it good? That's looking badass, dude. Okay. Definitely feeling color? Yeah. Yeah, I think so, too. What is that? What, what, what is that little one? Right, right there. Let me grab the picture. I don't understand what this is. That's, the, like, the other side of the bike, like, if you're seeing through it. Now you have an extra line there. This is screwed up. Okay. I don't know what this is. And you got these up with this. OK. This is your frame. Yep. You have to get that pipe into there. OK. How the did she go from liking the drawing to now having a complete issue? This needs to go under, hun, is what you're saying? Yeah, you already drew the outline. No, no, no. You can't. I'm, at, I'm just asking, do you want me to straighten that out? There's no way. I can. I'm going to do whatever it takes to get her to stop complaining and nitpicking. Make it good. Make it good. If I don't finish this tattoo, I'm Happy tattooing? You can tell that Ashley's canvas is pissed, and I love it. <laughs> Her and Alex tried to screw me over. Maybe these newbies don't understand. St. Mark is not a guy to be with. Nice, nice. St. Mark can lose a liner. Oh, my goodness. They may have been able to make me lose my footing on my first tattoo, but I'm getting comfortable again. I think they should be shaking in their boots. It looks so sick. I love it. Five, four, three, two, one. That is it. Time is up. Machine's down. No more ink. All right, come on over. That is badass. I'll tell you right now, if I don't win this one by looking at these other chumps' tattoos, this is rigged. Oh my god, I absolutely love this. St. Mark's tattoo looks like an airbrushed t-shirt. Christian's tattoo looks boring. Ashley's tattoo looks like This is just a joke. Kick rocks. Today, Clean challenged you to tattoo symbols of speed, hot rods and choppers, in neo-traditional style. Clean, let's start with you. When you said neo-traditional, this was the palette that I expected to see from the field. I like the flames, the engine is very identifiable, and I like what you did with this background. I think that's the best part. Red, wine, blue, baby. America. That's not American clean. It's America. That's a Puerto Rican he, flag. He gave him a Puerto Rican flag. I see the discrepancies with the flag. Putting more stars in the blue area instead of one big white star would have helped you out. But no one can argue with this line work. Nobody can argue with your saturation. The details of this motor are right. It's a very slick tattoo. Christian. Looking at the tattoo overall, it's so readable from a distance. It's just a sticker-like quality. From a distance, it screams contrast. The purple in the ocean goes along with the bluish in the car. That whole ground scene is cold hues, and then the sky scene is super hot. You didn't jump away from a challenge. You just gave him exactly what he wanted. Picasso. Great drawing. Really cool to look at. The biggest thing that I could pick out in this tattoo is that you just don't completely commit to actual dark, deep black. 
See how good the denim looks and all the great folds and the dynamic look to that. Just a little bit of a richer, darker, deep set tone in there in the dark areas, and then they jump off of that tank. I feel like first time I did too much, I'm still finding my place. The only person that's gonna beat you is gonna be you. Let it all go and just do what you do. Ashley. The mechanics of this motorcycle do not line up. When it's a tattoo that's gonna be on this lady's arm forever, she's gonna be hanging out with motorcycle people, they're gonna make fun of her. Everybody's gonna look at this tattoo and they're gonna make jokes about how her forks disappear into the headlight. Well, the motorcycle expert, which she was, she could have done her job as a canvas. She was the expert. I was the artist doing my job. I don't think I should be penalized for something I don't understand. Well, unfortunately, you get a bad reference, you get a bad canvas, you get a bad tattoo, you get a bad critique, you might go home. Anthony. This tattoo actually shows a lot of great contrast because it's really dark, but all the shading and all the highlights are in just the right place to highlight each angle, each crease, each pipe, each foot peg. Everything stands out. It's very clear. Perfect, perfect example of how to make something very dark and still show off great detail. Overall, man, it's really clean quality work. Chris. There's not a whole lot of neo-traditional elements to this tattoo. Strong lines. The lines hold the neo. It's a contrast challenge, and we're missing a lot of contrast in this piece. I'm having a hard time reading that bike. Design choices are very strange. You got one cheek wing, no wing on the other side. The way you have this motorcycle wheel disappearing into the eye of the skull, it's a hard to read tattoo. There's a lot of messy details. For a contrast challenge, you want the details to stand out strong. You miss that part of the challenge. Megan Jean. I'm not a fan of the drawing. The car has an awkward shape. You just got tone. The front of the car and the side of the car all become the same tones. And your background color choice, yellow on olive skin, just doesn't speak to contrast. Alex. Immediately, I just look at the two wheels. They're really tiny. Because it was a really drop car. How far the actual wheel is recessed back underneath the fenders makes that perspective a little off. I definitely wanted to make sure I didn't do too much detail in it. I definitely wanted to keep the whole tattoo simplified. And looking for contrast, if you're going to show something at a three-quarter view, then the side that's facing you, you could color a lot lighter than the top or the side to make it really look like it's getting dimensional. St. Mark. What was your headspace going into this? I wanted to show a lot of line work, kept a lot of my shading really directional and quick in and out. Not every tattoo can be done without an outline. Yeah, you got me. We all know you can't outline. This is a pretty good nail in that coffin. The drawing is dynamic. Color versus skin contrast is always the best way to go. Put a bright color next to a black outline, next to open skin. A lot of people would have overdone this tattoo. I think going really simple with it was a smart choice. All right, guys, we have to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. I think Anthony is showing some really strong skills in his shading now and his lining. The guy can do it all. I'm leaning more towards clean on this one because when I think neo-traditional, I think bold, big, loud, bright colors, contrast. I'm going with clean. Clean. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to clean. Today, you were judged on contrast, and based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. It is time to make a decision. As far as the contrast element of this challenge goes, my vote is for Chris as well. Chris. The judges have decided. Chris, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Not everybody's built for the room. And here, it's about getting comfortable and really accepting the information that's given, because if you go against the grain, it just doesn't work out. Please pack your machines and close shop. All right, gentlemen. Today, you have six hours to transform your canvas into a cyborg. Remember, every hour, you must switch tattoos, proving your consistency. And your time begins now. All right. Today we're testing consistency by doing a tag team tattoo, rotating every hour. That's cool, buddy. Today's tattoo is a good test of consistency because the tattooers have to make it look like one tattooer is doing it. Just kind of like that, right? You agree? Yeah. Do your outsides fat, one pass. Do your insides thin, one pass. We have a perfect plan mapped out. As long as the girls stick to it, we're going to kill it. See these sections where the red breaks in? Yep. Just 
Yep, yeah, free and fun. I'm on it. I think I'm okay even though I went down there? Yeah, just don't do them on the rest. Okay. I never do biomechanical, so I need to take every bit of advice Nunez gives me. He's making sure that we're as solid as possible. I think we're okay. Just remember, we don't win this thing. One of us is going home. Damn, quit reminding us. At this point in the game, I don't want anybody else having their hand in my tattooing. I want to do what I do, and that's it. How do you want to do on these um, skin rips? Skin rips? So to you guys, dark wash? Team Nunez definitely has the advantage. I've already seen Nikki and Kelly work together as a team, and they do it seamlessly. Guys, un underneath some of the skin rips, I'm putting a little bit of black, OK? Underneath. Three of us together, all doing different styles. I mean, honestly, we got no chance. Five hours remaining, and switch. You're coming to Nate's, and I'm doing his arm. I just did black, gray into red. Is that too dark? It is. I walked away, and we had a game plan. I came back in. This thing's so there is no biomechanical background, and the exterior was supposed to look like metal plating. It turned into rocks. If this thing is just a skull with these broken rocks around it, these guys are gonna get tore apart. And switch stations. Are you good there, Ryan? Perfect. Are you good? I'm good. Once again, just like any other Team Peck challenge, Gian and I are working well together taking the lead. You already outlined the whole medium? No. Nah, none of this is done, that's not done. But Nate is just pessimistic and slow. What's the plan? Look what Ryan's doing, and you start doing what she's doing. Nate has to pull his together, or Gian and I are going down with him. Artist, time to switch. Did I it up? Just keep rocking. This is the least confident I've ever seen Nikki. If we make back here like the source of light, this being dark makes perfect sense. That'll be cool. I'm gonna start doing that. Okay. What's done is done. I just have to keep on track and make sure that she knows she's still doing a good job. We're gonna be okay. Five, four, three, Two, one, that's it. Machine's down, time is up. No more ink. Woo! Oh, your mama. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Damn! Look at this thing. Dude, we killed it. Today, you had to show consistency tattooing cyborg tattoos. Remember, you're being judged as a team. Let's see how you did. Looking at the three tattoos, they all have a consistent feel. But there are a couple of differences. The one with the trigger, it looks like the smoothest of the three. It has a much softer, powdery feel to it. That's the one that's the most open and the most readable. Your other tattoos have a lot of small, tucked away pieces that are in there. The left leg is a lot heavier, a lot blacker, and a lot deeper in your outlines, as opposed to the other leg. Those outlines, they're thin. There's a lot of wobbles. One thing I was unsure about is like, what is ripping out? Is that supposed to be skin or plywood ripped open? For the skin rip? Oh, is it skin? Yeah, what he asked us for was almost like a striped slash sort of like claw look. I mean, it looks like he definitely did what he asked for, and sometimes that can be a little bit dangerous. This is that type of skin rip that has that tendency to look like bark and look cracked instead of looking torn and flexible. But the way you designed it and laid it out, this is a design that can appeal to people whether they know what this imagery is or not. Thank you. Next up, Team Nunez. I think it's a pretty good tattoo, but I don't see any kind of mechanical, doesn't say cyborg to me. I would also say that I don't think that the forehead matches the rest of the skull. It looks really smooth, and it doesn't have as much texture or dimension as the lower part of the face or the bottom jaw. That was a difficult tattoo. In all honesty, I truly believe that we gave her a good tattoo, but it might have gotten away from us. Gotten away from you how? Because the challenge was transform your canvas into a cyborg. That's probably what got away from us. When we take that, you know, we can go down the route of biomech, which we definitely did. 
it's, it's a little more bio-organic. Heavy on the bio. But I don't see even a drop of mech in this at all. Consistency from one leg to the other. I don't think the skull and the jawbone look consistent in any way. The bottom jaw looks like a totally separate thought that doesn't go along with the skull at all. From a distance, it looks like a red oil rag getting thrown down a cave. It was the most stressful tattoo I think either of us have done here. We have some issues. Behind the skull, we were supposed to have all that weird connective biomech tissue, but you missed doing those weird shapes that we talked about doing, and then coloring the same way you colored. That would have been fine, you would have had it. The problem is that we didn't hit the look of the metal, and we didn't hit the look of the biomech tissue behind the skull. The things we talked about got lost in translation. What I will say in terms of consistency here, it does look like one artist did both tattoos. The line weights are consistent, shading is consistent. I do see remnants of that biomechanical style with these rock formations that are coming out, so I see that as being a consistent element there. So there are consistent elements here, and that is one of the things we're testing for. All right, Stacy and Austin, you have six hours to tattoo a biomechanical skull assigned by Christian. Your time starts now. All right. Come over here. Over here. Let's coach the out of these guys. That's gonna be so bitching when it's done, bro. Can't wait. Austin and Stacy going head to head is a perfect call. They have both showed weaknesses in this competition, and it should be interesting. It's set up as fair as it can be set up. Oh, yeah, it's apples to apples. Biomechanical, it's something that's so technical and so loose at the same time. You can always tell when somebody doesn't do biomechanical and is trying because it screams, I don't know what I'm doing. Austin, get a marker and mark the center line. Well, see, I wasn't trying to put it center line, but I get I get where you're going. I get it. Why would you it. not put it center line? I kind of like the little bit wrap in the front, but hey, it's not what I like. What you it. like got you in this spot. You're right about that. This could be anybody's game. You ready? Do it. This really sucks right now, because no matter what, I'm losing one of my team members. But at the same time, I need to help both of them, because I need the strongest tattooer to stay in this competition. Here. Can you clip it so that some my hair is not falling forward? What am I doing? Take the clip out and then clip more of my hair back. Maybe hairdressing is a new option for you. <laughs> it's, so, <laughs> it's so funny, Christian, because your tattoos aren't <laughs> all that. Well, they were good enough to beat you, weren't they? Run your mouth. I'll take, That's I'll all take you do is run your mouth. I run my machines way up better than you do. Bull. You're kind of kicking his ass right now. Good. He's like talking so much to me. I haven't said anything mean to him. I'm like, you know what? I don't have to run my mouth. I'm just going to tattoo. What do you think? I don't think this is how we, any of us expected this to go. I didn't think he was going to be snowballed. Bottom line, our team needs a solid tattooer because we got to start taking these jackasses out of here. Two hours to go. Two hours left. Start picking it up because you got a lot of cover. I keep making poor choices. I should have put together a good, comprehensive color theory. But my team, they are a great resource. I'm going to use them to the best of my ability. Should I put some red in those little gaps between the teeth? Turk said that might look like a cool idea. Yeah, I think it'd be nice to have something in there. This is your final hour. One more hour. Austin, he produces the best tattoo when someone is standing over your shoulder the whole time. Mm -hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Super cool. And you get to keep it forever. It's badass. Definitely badass. Yeah, well, it's my favorite one I've done here so far. Let's hope it's not my last. Austin and Stacy, today you had to battle head to head to stay in this competition. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Austin. I like the shape. I like the design. The details of the actual skull itself are really cool. The shape of the eyes, the nose, and the mouth that really tell the skull part of the story. I do like the appeal of this tattoo. I like the color play quite a bit. Using the hot and cold color palette like you did was a smart play. 
the biggest missed opportunity in this tattoo is putting some heavy areas of black. These deep set areas, instead of going from a light gray to the color, should go from solid black to the color to really show the dimension of these pieces taking shape. As far as the biomech part, I do wish it had more of the bio feel. It looks very stiff. The biomechanical aspect became a beveled, hard, kind of shaped image. It doesn't have a lot of that real bio feel to it. More like alien-esque. I went more mechanical for sure. This tattoo has an appealing look to it at first glance. I just don't look at it as a confident tattoo and really understanding biomechanics. Stacy. You really swung for the fences here with this design. You did try to show us some organic elements in this piece, certainly with some of the detailing you put in the spikes, in the center of the nose, under the eye socket, with the repetitive bone pattern. It looks like there is more of an organic biofeel happening here. It was interesting to step out of my comfort zone and definitely try something I've never even thought I would try. For me, you do better in bio than you do in a skull. From the nose down, it just looks like somebody went with putty and just smeared this thing down and then it's got a perfect set of veneers. It's all gnarly everywhere and then he's got these pretty little choppers. It doesn't flow. Just the dynamics of the skull itself are really lackluster. But you have a lot more interesting texture in your pieces. You have multiple colors, multiple tones. It does have a bony texture. It doesn't just look like a piece of metal I cut out on a jigsaw. It actually looks like a bone that grew into a shape. He did good, he did good. Clean. You had to put these two up for elimination. This is your team. How are you feeling about this? I mean, it sucks. Obviously, I want the best tattooer on the team. I think the tattoos both have some good qualities. Stacy's, I think, looks a little cleaner, and I didn't really help her do much. Austin's, the outline is a little wonky from top to bottom. And yeah, I mean, everybody chimed in way more on Austin's end to get to this point right now. All right, guys, time to decide who's going home. I see shining moments in both, and I see deficiencies in both. But I mean, I think that Stacy hit more of the biomech. Remember that it's not a biomech challenge, it's a biomech skull challenge. Look at Austin's. He looks like he started with a skull and added to it. The skull and Stacy's, there's things that don't make sense where they're coming from. The judges have decided, Stacy, you do not have what it takes to be Ink Master. Stacy, I have tremendous amount of respect for you and for anybody who steps into this arena. But I think that you have done amazing in terms of showing us progress. Yeah. So stay on that trajectory. Thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. You did good, kid. Thanks, coach. Please pack your machines and close shop. You will have six hours to demonstrate legibility creating a schematic tattoo. Good luck. I'm Jessa. Nice, nice to meet you. Let's go to my station right over here. Today in a schematic tattoo, we're looking for the cleanest, strongest outlines with the best application to show us the construction or deconstruction of the item. So it's schematic day. Yes. So whatever we do, the line work has to show. These tattoos don't have anywhere to hide. If you're doing something that's a diagram, then everything has to fit. Tattooing eight years, and I've only ever had one other job, and so tattooing is pretty much all I know, which right. is trippy to think about. All I wanted to do with this tattoo is show off my line work, and it is going the polar opposite way. All of those tiny lines. They had a lot of detail there. I can feel how soft this guy's skin is and how easy it will be to blow these lines out. My only option is to try to pull this off. This day sucks. Artists, four hours to go. Ooh, that's a cool piece. Thank you. When I saw everybody else, I was like, oh, I could have done this a lot easier. Damn it. That's not who I am. <laughs> I've been obsessed with robots since I was a kid, and I do a lot of biomechanical that involves a lot of robotic structures and stuff. This is a total shoe in for me. Almost there with the lines. Like some dots and stuff left. Oh, son of a bitch. Every three dots I do blow out. Every other line I do blows out. I don't understand what's going on. Am I sitting okay for you? Any issues? Oh, yeah, you're sitting great. Yeah. It's just like I'm a perfectionist. This is a disaster. I am scared shitless right now. Your skin doesn't like this stencil at all. Oh, <laughs> hates it. It's trying to get rid of it on me. With all the skin, you don't know what you're going to get into. It's usually prone to blowouts. It could just split open on you. It's always thin. So I'm playing it simple. The all is pretty much done. I mean, yeah, it doesn't need shading. I guess I'm just not used to having this much time left over. 
Should I order a pizza? Maybe I'll uh, mess around with it on paper and see if there's anything else that makes sense. I don't know if this thing even reads as a schematic tattoo. My best chance is to zoom in on some of the details that I already have there. Either way, I'm taking a risk here. If I do add it in and I don't pull it off, I may not finish my tattoo. Well, I mean, you nailed it. That's cool, though. Yeah. Very cool, dude. Thanks. We got Frank's approval. Two hours to go. You have two hours remaining. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Alrighty. Looks like we are all done. Awesome. Looks dope. All right, man. We're all set. Thank you. Oh, thank you. We're all done. Bob drew his completely by hand, but there's like a buttload of blowouts. Uh, don't stress something you can't control now. I know. Yeah, it's well. done. Today, you were being tested on legibility with schematic tattoos. Let's see how you did. Kelly. This is one of the most legible tattoos of the day, and I don't even really know what part of the engine this is. My canvas was a mechanic, and he wanted an exploded piston. Your use of light source to show the dimension and proportions of these things is a really, really nice touch. I'm really super impressed with it. Awesome, thank you. Jordan. There isn't a single part of the tattoo that isn't challenged with an outline. If we just look at the bottom motorcycle, a lot of trouble getting those smooth, clean, round circles. There's a section of the rim where the line just and you just miss that connection completely. Your line work has so many inconsistencies here. It is a problem. East, you're up. Jessa. Hi, guys. Your whole typewriter looks really nice. Your keys look really nice. I like that. Your fonts match. But the word typewriting machine up top gets pretty wonky. Older typewriters, none of the keys go on the same plane. That's what we were going You know for. what I mean? I actually like that. Jimmy. What's up? I really like the addition of the revolver cartridge and the A and B really sells the point of what this challenge is. I do like that you went for it. It definitely needed it, because if you yeah. had just shown up with the tank, that would have been definitely not good. South, you're up next. Jason. You leave the vertebrae itself stark and all of the dark background with the gears push forward. So straight, so clean. We always harp on creativity. This is it. You got the big field of black, and then you got some pink. I'm not dazzled. I mean, it's it's line work day. And on line work what day, we're looking you don't for today crowd is a schematic, and what I don't see is a schematic. So he hates it. We love it. <laughs> Bob. I love all the pieces coming apart and going different directions and showing different angles, but. I lost count of blowouts on this thing, like 40-something. I felt like I just had no control over it blowing out or not. I could go like less than a millimeter in touching the skin, and it would just blow out immediately. Blown out or not, I would wear that thing. It's badass.